what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel so today we're going to go over what looks like to be kind of a weird topic inside the diablo 3 community last night during the live stream guys i was farming some gr90s on my bar build and a lot of people in my chat part of the community love all you guys we're talking about farming gr90s as opposed to gr100s now we have done a video in the past just recently about farming for all of your legendaries and kind of the most efficient ways to do this especially when you're trying to gear up your character now for me i always believe that gr90 is the best because it can give you the maximum amount of items so anything past gr90 can give you gr90 or higher can give you 12 items total now on gr90 by itself it can give you 10 to 12 items okay now when it comes to efficiency doing gr 90s in sub two minutes or a minute and 20 minute and a half minute and 10 the amount of items that you're going to get per hour to me still is just more beneficial than doing a higher gr especially when you're farming for other gear pieces and whatnot now i have always said that when you're grinding these grs if i can do a 90 in sub two minutes but i can also do a gr 100 in sub two minutes then you should always do the higher gr because you're not sacrificing the time to complete a higher gr you're still doing it in the sub two minutes and now you're getting even more exp and even more blood shards so when we're looking at the gr90 you can get anywhere from 10 to 12 items but what i didn't think about and my chat was talking about is in those 10 to 12 items not only can you just get 10 as opposed to 12 every single run but there's a chance that you can get yellow and blue items within that item range when you're doing gr 90s which in the end if you're trying to farm for gear pieces sucks and then the the debate came in about doing gr 100s because every single time in gr 100s you're guaranteed 12 pieces no matter what and then they're talking about the quality this is the main argument it's not so much is that if you didn't get 12 every single time in gr 90 because you can but it's the quality so getting rid of those yellows and blues if you go to gr 100 you're able to get all set pieces or all legendary so i'm here to just run a couple gr 90s we're going to do one uh here live and then we're going to do some more a uh, couple gr 100s for you guys just to kind of talk about this because i have always thought that doing gr 90s is just the most efficient way to do things so especially when you're just speed farming right but again, as I've said, if you're able to do uh, the same speed in a GR, but do it at a higher one, then by all means do it. So for me, I can still speed farm right now, GR 100s at sub two minutes. So really I should always do those because I want more EXP so my Paragon level gets higher, right? And then Blood Shards, which gives me faster times to be able to go roll from Kadala, which is very, very important when you're trying to farm for gear, especially get Ancients, or now in this season, in Season 28, try to get all your, all your juicy Primals with the double Primal drop. But we kind of went back and forth on this because a lot of players, I think, just like to farm GR90s and for just, you know, for super speeds, depending on what build they're playing. And... Doing higher GRs sometimes may not work, especially in the earlier stages of a wipe. Or, excuse me, a new season. I'm thinking of Tarkov here. But I don't think it's the GR90 issue. I think it's the quality of items. And I can't stress this enough because my chat was asking me last night, guys, if, you know, why am I not doing GR100s? Because, you know, you get better quality items. And I was just thinking, well, that doesn't seem right because I'm like I'm getting set pieces, I'm getting legendaries. What do you mean? And it's the not getting the one to two extra blues and or yellow. So let's kill this Rift Guardian. Let's just pick up the gems here. Let's pick up the veiled crystals, the parts, and arcane dust. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got eleven items. All of them happen to be night or to happen to be legendary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, so we got eleven items, all of them set pieces or legendary. So this is good at GR90. But again, now we're selling ourselves short because we're not getting that 12th item, which could be, you know, 
a potential item we need for our build or another build it could be potentially an item that's ancient or it could be uh, a chance for a primal drop which in this case gives us two primal drops so what we're going to do now is we're going to go in guys i'm gonna skip right to the end we're going to do another gr90 and then we're going to do a couple gr 100s just so you guys can see it i don't want to rush through and do each of them because it's going to be too long in the video so we're going to try to keep it short so uh, i'll see you guys at the end of this next gr90 all right second gr90 guys we're at the rift guardian let's kill this sucker all right let's grab our gems let's grab our crystals arcane dust the parts so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we only got 10 items this time so again guys we're getting 10 items one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so again even though all of them are legendary or set pieces now again we are selling ourselves short by not having the two extra items so so far the argument is valid to a degree about doing gr90 as the optimal uh speed gr for when farming so let's check out gr100 we're going to go back to back with two of them just to kind of showcase guys and i know it's going to be a small sample size but still i think it should be you know enough evidence to kind of showcase what we're doing um for this video so let's put these away and i'll see you guys at the back end of those all right first gr first gr 100 uh rift guardian let's go ahead and kill them let's grab that grab that grab that so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve is that right let's go ahead and count it up one more time just to be sure make sure we didn't miss anything here so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, am I missing something here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we didn't even get twelve. We didn't even get twelve there on a GR one hundred, guys. I'm not missing any of the items. We did not get 12 on a GR100. This is bad. Okay, so so far with just this one rift, we did not we did not get the 12th item, which makes it disappointing. So this is also what I'm going to do just to be sure that we didn't uh accidentally salvage anything. Let's just go to my pet and unequip my pet. We're gonna do one more GR100 just to see, okay? I'll see you at the end. Okay, second Rift Guardian number two. Where is he? Let's go kill him. All right, let's try again. Nothing's being salvaged. Let's take a look and count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Again? Hold on, I think we got 12 there with the helmet. So let's be sure pick everything up okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so we got twelve that time so we got twelve that time so that's good so this concludes just a brief testing of it now again guys i do know this is a small sample size so if we got 12, we should have 24 items here, but we don't. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. So we only got 11 items on that first one, and we didn't have our pet equipped. And, and we got 12 on the second one. So as far as argument's sake what i would say about this is that gr 100 as opposed to 90 worth it okay so the only argument here i would say is not necessarily the quantity of items but the quality of items so if you are somebody who can efficiently do gr 100s at a sub two minute pace or whatever pace you're doing gr 90s at um so unless you can do the same or even sub two minute even sub two minute grs is just fine but the quality of items. So if you're looking to gear out your character or other characters and just farm items, I still think doing GR90s is just fine. Yes, you're still gonna have the chance 
of getting a yellow or blue because that can happen which in the grand scheme of things that the number of items you're going to be farming per hour i just don't think it makes the biggest difference but if you don't want that chance and you want to have make sure that every single item you get is a set piece or a, a legendary then by all means guarantee that you add gr100 that you will never get a yellow or blue so just kind of pick and choose guys i wanted to test this out because my chat was talking about it and it's kind of going you know kind of spiraling around through the diablo 3 community these are what my findings are i only did two sample sizes of each run and i know that's very very small but feel free to test it out but just in those two gr100 runs we didn't get 12 that first time and if every time gr100 only drops legendary or set pieces my pet couldn't have auto salvaged it so that means that the gr100 didn't even guarantee me 12 items the second run it did now the gr 90s yeah i got 10 and i got 11 that one time and all of them happened to be set pieces or legendaries which is good none of them were blues and yellows but i know for a fact you can't get blue and yellows so that those are my findings on a quick just sample size test guys you formulate uh your opinion and what you still think the best gr speed farm level is i still like 90 but once i get strong enough to do gr 100s 110s 115s etc i'll be doing those but like the video if you guys did enjoy it let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this whole uh debacle going on in the diablo community and sub if you guys are new here and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace